Today was one of those days where I wanted to film something, but not sure what. In those kind of days, you don't really want to bring all of your heavy equipment and spend lots of time setting up, so I decided to bring out my Smooth 4 with the iPhone 7 Plus. I had my time to test it out and this is why I'm making this video. To show you guys its pros and cons and whether it can be useful for your bigger projects. And by the way, instead of just showing boring walking shots and doing a 5 minute unboxing video, I'll be cutting straight to the chase and only talk about my experience using it during events. Let's start talking about the things I really enjoy about this gimbal. I've heard many people complaining about the build quality of this thing, and while I do agree Zeon could have made the tripod a bit sturdier, I love what they did to the gimbal itself. In my hands it feels pretty darn solid and the best thing is that it's so light. I have been using my Crane 2 on every single one of my projects in the last 5 weeks, and when you hold something as light as this, you really don't want to go back. To be honest with you, I also like the grip better on the Smooth 4 than the Crane 2. When it comes to mobility, this tool is perfect, because you never get exhausted carrying it. By the way, it's so small that it can even fit in my girlfriend's purse. Just these two factors made me want to use this tool more and more. Another thing which I really love is that Zeon has a lot of features available in their app, but I basically only use two of them because they give you super dope results motion time-lapse and vertigo effect. The app is very simple to use in my opinion, and you can achieve these cool looks in less than 5 minutes without any post-production whatsoever. You can also manually control your camera settings in their app, but for that I use the Filmic Pro, because they offer more options, but if you don't have the budget for the Filmic Pro app, which costs around 25 bucks, definitely go for the ZY Play app. This is important to know. You will always get little shakes here and there without any internal stabilization in your phones. If you are expecting to run full speed and have perfectly steady shots, it ain't happening buddy. Besides, who the heck runs full speed with a gimbal and a phone? Most of the shots I did were follow shots, gliding shots, crane shots, orbit shots, and this tool performed very well in all of these situations. By the way, if you are wondering about the battery life, don't worry, it will last you days, perhaps even weeks. I was filming with it for 2 days for a total of around 5 hours and it only went down from 100 to 70%. To be honest with you, I don't really have anything I hate about this gimbal. But I did, however, end up not using half of these buttons on the gimbal. So what I would say is that maybe Zeon should have kept it more simple without putting so many buttons on it. I don't know, I still prefer tapping on my screen on my phone, but what I did really like is the wheel. That definitely came in handy. Oh, and the menu button as well. What I would like to see in the future is that Zeon perhaps could implement wireless charging on the gimbal. That would be so awesome! Now, the ultimate question. Is this tool good for filming events? To be honest with you, it all depends on your phone. If you have a good phone and built-in stabilization in your phone's camera, then this tool will give you amazing results. If you have a bad phone, well... Then I'd recommend saving up money for a better phone and then get the Smooth 4. All I can say about this tool is that it just works and does the job it's supposed to do without any issues. In the conclusion, I had a very fun time using this gimbal. For me, as a running gun shooter, mobility is very important, and since I can do everything on the Smooth 4 what I would normally do on the Crane 2, this makes the Smooth 4 just a pleasant tool to work with. Even though I don't use a lot of features such as sports mode, panoramic, slow motion, and I don't use half of the buttons, I am still very glad that this gimbal is so light and small that I can basically take it everywhere I go without worrying about losing space in my bag.